Manchester United are a mess at the moment. Wednesday's 2-0 defeat at home to Manchester City has reportedly sparked a blame game in the dressing room, with everyone pointing the finger at each other. Ole Gunnar Solskjaer reckons a lot of his players aren't good enough, and he's right, while the players are starting to question his tactics. And to think, this time two months ago everything seemed swell at the Theatre of Dreams. United have lost 7 out of 9 games in all competitions since Solskjaer was made permanent manager and it's widely believed they've run out of steam. During their unbeaten run at the start of the year they were playing fast and exciting attacking football, but it seems they are now paying the price of such heavy exertion. Who exactly is to blame is up for debate. But one thing that's certain is Solskjaer needs to make a lot of changes this summer. United's squad has a lot of deadwood and the simple fact of the matter is they lack genuine world-class players. Other than David De Gea, who has made too many mistakes to count this season, and Paul Pogba, who hasn't been at his best recently, United have a group of decent players at best. One player Solskjaer should consider selling in the transfer window is Fred, the pound 52M rated Brazilian that Jose Mourinho signed last summer. Fred has underwhelmed this season and against City he showed that, despite a desire to do well, he just isn't good enough. And yet he keeps starting games, which could be where Solskjaer is going wrong considering the 26-year-old's abysmal record in the Premier League this season. Fred has started 13 league games thus far and lost 7 of them, 53%, drawing 1 and winning 5. Statistically speaking, United are a worse side when he plays in midfield. Furthermore, the 25-year-old has started United's last seven games in all competitions and tasted defeat in six of them. Solskjaer would be wise to drop Fred for Sunday's must-win game against Chelsea, especially after Gary Neville said the Brazil international hasn't got the legs. Defensive-wise he'll skip into challenges, he'll get beat, people will go past him said Neville on Wednesday. Sometimes he'll win it, sometimes he won't. Watching Fred all season, he commits to challenges, he gets skipped past and he can't get back, he can't recover, he hasn't got the legs. I think that's what he is. Manchester City now control their own destiny in one of the most enthralling Premier League title races in years. After beating their arch-rivals Manchester United 2-0 at Old Trafford on Wednesday evening, Pep Guardiola's side are now a point ahead of Liverpool. Both City and the Reds have set the bar for excellence this season, blowing away the rest of the division. Liverpool have lost just once all season and are on course to finish on 97 points but still may end the campaign as runners-up, that's how good City have been. Ederson, Emerick Laporte, Fernandinho, Bernardo Silva, Raheem Sterling and Sergio Aguero were also all named yesterday in PFA Team of the Year.